Hi, I'm Lori Clapper with Pharmaceutical Online here at Interfex 2012. I'm at the Capsule Gel booth talking with Missy Lowry. Missy, thanks so much for taking some oh, time. Oh, thank you so much, too, for coming by. Now, one thing I'd like to start with are the problems uh, the end users are facing out in the industry for their everyday jobs. What are those problems that led to the development of the Accelo Lab? Well, everything that we know about the pharmaceutical industry today is they want to speed up the process of drug discovery and delivery development. So all that we've worked on with our Excelodose precision microdosing technology has been to create ways to make the decision of go or no go with a particular drug compound faster and more reliable. Scientists today are using that API into a capsule as a part of their proof of concept for a drug and delaying moving into formulation until they know whether or not the concept has a potential. Excelodose itself is a fantastic technology for it, but many of our Excelodose users wanted another smaller unit that they could use for powder characterization and also for microdosing into other dosage forms, such as a vial or a syringe or a test tube. So we put together the same technology, which is the Excelodose precision microdosing technology with an atomic metric on it that allows each and every capsule to be weighed in a range from less than 100 micrograms. But in this case, with the Excello Lab, we've expanded it up to several grams. They're able to use this smaller unit in their laboratory, and then the information that they discover from the activities that they're engaged in there, they can take into their manufacturing facility where the larger Excello dose sits. What are some of the applications for the Excello Lab? In this case, scientists usually want to determine if they got the right particular dosing head for their Excella dose, and so they'll use the Excella lab to characterize powder. They may also need to fill some vials, so it would be a powder into a vial application for a syringe later on, or into the syringe itself. Again, it allows you to go as low as a 100 microgram weight and have accuracy within 2% range, but on an individual item, one at a time. It's the, uh, let's put it this way, it's taking a very big piece of forward-thinking technology but putting it into a small lab-scale tool. Now, what uh, emerging markets are out there for this kind of technology? In this case, most of the companies that we've been working with have been pharmaceutical companies who are engaged in trying to determine a broad base of different compounds which will offer them the best opportunity for success prior to the time that they do their formulation work. So large and small have been engaged in it, as well as contract research organization and contract manufacturing organization. Hey, thank you so much, Missy. It was You're so, nice so welcome. To meet you. Thank you for coming by. And have a good show. Thank you.